Hello, my name is Thomas Lee. I'm with Reality Flex Studios, and this is another follow up video to the flashlight tutorial series. And in this one, I'm going to teach how to create a clicking to pick up an item. You have to click on it, but you have to be within a certain radius. So, in this one, I'm going to use a sphere collider to do that, and then, of course, do the code. Alright, here we go. So, for the flashlight, you see it has a box collider on it. So we have to first prep these two uh, items and go to c component menu, physics, and put a sphere collider. It will say replace. It will ask you if you want to replace it or add it. We want to replace it, so go ahead and replace it. Be sure to check the is trigger and we're going to Effect, or we're going to raise the radius to a good size and you'll notice that it's a pretty big number I'm going to round it up to 30 just because that looks like a good size the radius is scaled by the scale of the item because this item was made and we had to scale it back by 0.1 um, on all sides then this radius is scaled by 0.1 so that's why it's such a, a bigger number. It would be a lot less, I believe, three if this was at one. Um, if the scale was at one, the radius would be three to get the same size. Okay, so we got the radius uh, for the flashlight. Let's apply that and go to the battery and do the same thing. We're going to component, menu, physics, sphere collider, replace it, is trigger, and because the scale on this one is a lot more, you can see that um, the radius is a lot bigger at 0.5. So I'm going to do 0.25, and that looks pretty good. So let's get to the code. What we're going to do is have a bool, a private bool variable called clickable and the underscore is just a it's a convention so that when you're looking at code you know that that's a private variable over if it doesn't if it's if it doesn't have an underscore before the name it's a public variable and there are other conventions but that, that's one we're going to use right now. So on trigger enter, all we're going to do, and actually this code, let's put it down here. I'm control X to cut. I'm just pasting it down here. It's going to yell at us for broken code, but that's fine. Okay, we're just going to say clickable equals true. So when the colliders meet, this method is going to trigger, and we're just going to set the the bool to true. And when we exit, so on void on trigger exit, we're going to set clickable to false. So now when you get close enough to it, you're able to click on it to pick it up. But then if you leave, you don't have the ability. If you if we didn't do this part, then once you get close enough to it and then you run 20 feet, 20 meters away and you you can still see it and click on it, that bull would be true still, so you'd be able to pick it up from 20 meters away. So in this case, we're making it so that isn't possible. Okay? So, on the, we're going to be in the void on mouse down method, and basically it's going to be all of this code that we have, so another control X, paste it, and we're going to put this inside of an if statement, if clickable, if that bool is true, we're going to do all this code, we're going to compare the item of the script to the enum list that we set up 
if it's a flashlight, it sets the, this bull to true and it activates it so that we see it on the character. And if it's the else, which is the battery, it will increase the battery count and then it will destroy the object from the world. Okay, that is about it. Let's test it. So I am far away. I can't click on it, or I'm clicking on it, but I can't pick it up. I get within the radius. And let's see, we should be able to see the radius and yeah, this is the editor. You can be in the scene and play the game at the same time. So I'm just going to try to... So we know when we become in the radius. As you can see there. And I'm clicking back in the game window to control in the game window. So I'm going to move a little bit forward. I'm right behind the, the collider. Click on it. Nothing. I get barely inside the radius, click on it, and I pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to click in the scene view to see that uh, collider as well. Click back in the game view. I'm going to get a better view in the game window. And I'm going to get this outer one that you see in the, in the scene window is the light radius. So it's the green one that's the collider. So let's get a little bit closer. I'm not in the quite in the radius, but let me try to click on it. Nope. Nothing. So I'm gonna move closer. I'm in the radius. Click on it. Oh maybe I'm not in the radius. Okay. I'm in the radius now, definitely. Click on it and I can pick it up. Alright, so that's everything's working um, that was a suggestion by someone from YouTube and I appreciate these suggestions I don't mind going over these to add on to my existing tutorials if you have any questions please post a comment subscribe like the video it's much appreciated and I'll see you in the next